Hello there, it's I, the Geordie Nerd, and I'm back again with another episode of The Good Place, Season 3, Episode 7. I'm excited to get into this. The into it. Try the English, Paul. <laughs> Wait, what was I saying? Yes, in the previous episode, um, <laughs> uh, Eleanor's mother um, was found to be alive. So, hopefully this episode, we're going to deal with the consequences of that. And I'm excited. Link for the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. And all social media links and Twitch and blah, blah, blah. Let's just get into this now and have some fun. A police officer came to my home and told me that my mom had been accidentally trampled to death when she bent down to adjust her toe ring at a Rascal Flats concert. That police officer was an actor. <laughs> That's a very specific death. I mean, is that what our mother wanted? Your mom had gotten drunk, wandered into a charity auction and bid $30,000 for a date with Gene Simmons. Outbidding everyone else by $29,800. She didn't want to pay. So she faked her death, moved to Nevada, and reinvented herself as Diana Tremaine. Diana Tremaine is my fake ID name. <gasps> How dare she steal the identity I stole. Wow, what a mother. This is not about you. Right. That's going to be hard. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I get that, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll say no more. I'm not making this about me, but that was funny. My boyfriend, Dave's, he's kind of a dork, but real sweet and so fancy. His napkins are made out of, like, shirt material. Cloth. <laughs> okay, now this is making sense. Oh, you know, you've got the big books when your napkins are made of cloth. Oh, geez, I didn't know we had company. Hey, hi, I'm Dave. Michael? Of course you're Dave. Hey, Dave, you and I need to have a little conversation. Diana! Oh, hey. Who the hell is this chick? Oh, this yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, that, it does hurt. When your parents can't be bothered to raise you, and then they raise somebody else's kid that's not even theirs, it fucking, it breaks you, okay? <laughs> They're a pair of boobs, and then two extra side boobs. It symbolizes that boobs come in all shapes and sizes and distances apart. Oh, maybe we should just go. There are plenty of other people I could help. Like my good friend Ben Affleck and his crippling addiction to back tattoos. Or my other good friend Matt Damon and his crippling addiction to my friend Ben Affleck. <laughs> oh, Ben. Poor Ben Affleck. I mean, that that tattoo is... It's, well, it's none of my business what he does with his body. And that's that's the way we should keep it. But also, yeah... It's like a phoenix or something, but it symbolizes the fact that he's had problems with alcohol and he's a phoenix rising from the ashes. So, who are we to mock? Nuggins and forks are in the back. So making omelettes is art now, is it? Not that I'd expect you to understand. But it's a commentary on the world's fascination with subservience, consumption, death, and pedagogy. Of course, Gentlemen yeah, it was Swift. darling. Oh no, I don't want an omelette. I just came for a quick sisterly chat. My sister, Tahani, refuses to order an omelette. As a result, the exhibit is now over and will never be shown again. There will be no refunds. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Settle down, love. You don't get to make that fucking choice. If somebody's paid for something, they don't get it. They're getting a refund. I went in to meet with the contractors, and Diana is sitting at the bar drinking a seven and seven and seven. Seven shots of Seagram seven in seven minutes. It's Diana's morning drink. Oh, that's right. It was very early in the morning. <laughs> well, this little spitfire finds out it's me who's closing down the bar. Next thing I know, she's got a knife to my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still a better love story than Twilight. One thing leads to another, and all of a sudden, we're playing tonsil tennis on a broken toilet in the alley out back. Cute. So, I mean, that's pretty gross, but doesn't everybody deserve a second chance at love? And what is nicer than love? And I know I'm a bloke and I should be like, yeah, sports, lifting weights, bro. <laughs> Which I kind of am, the lifting weights thing. But like, I, I just like to be in love. It's nice to feel loved. And yeah, blame me parents, right? <laughs> Why are you in my room? Oh, hey girl, what's up? How old are you? Three? I'm nine. Cool. I don't know anything about kids. Hey, has Diana ever made you hide like a special treasure in any of your toys? No, Diana's very nice to me. She bought me most of these stuffed animals. <gasps> oh, wow, neat. Mind if I give him just a little surgery just to check? Okay, okay. <laughs> 
I mean, are you searching for the money or are you just jealous? Because girl, same. Like, seriously. Oh, you bought him a bike, did you? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, what was the last thing you bought me? Oh, wait, nothing. She's scamming them. Look, believe me, don't believe me. I don't care. I'm gonna prove it. Young lady, you will stop this nonsense. Go to the PTA meeting and support your mother. I won't hear another word about it. Yes, daddy. <laughs> I'll be a good girl. But... All of your fears are now mine. What did she say? What? I don't know. Sorry, I got distracted. She's amazing. She just pulled some fucking air away from you, bro? What? My much older mother. She faked her death and changed her name. Sorry to burst your bubble, but that's the deal. I already knew all that, Eleanor. Your mother told me everything the first night we met. First night? Well, no, not the first night, actually. That was mostly sex. <laughs> Your mother is a very confident and selfish lover. Right? <laughs> no, 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 it's perfect for me because I don't know what I want. But anyway, the next morning, she told me everything. Oh, come on, dude. You must know some things you want. Tell you the truth, she's turning me into a bit of a bad boy. I mean, who am I, Avril Lavigne? <laughs> 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 I love how much Michael actually loves Dave. It's, it's adorable. I want them to be best friends. Go on camping trips together and stuff. I, I know as your self-appointed father figure, I'm supposed to say something comforting here. But I'm, I'm kind of stumped. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm lost for words like, but uh, girl, Sam. Final tally. <laughs> 43 votes for Diana Tremaine. Oh. 12 votes for Eileen Capshaw and one vote for Bofa D's Nuts. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You're not my real dad. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. Let me help you. No, 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 not that one. Not Just that one. Gone. Oh, sorry, sorry. This powder is only for my delicates. You don't wash your bras. Nope. I, <gasps> I knew it. My mother is a con artist. Gotcha. Fucking hell. I honestly thought she had changed. I mean, there's someone I've met three times and don't really know. <laughs> but that sucks, man. I mean, she looked happy. She's a good actor, but it is what it is, I suppose. The losing painting shall provide the kindling for the fire that rages in our hall. During that party. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Yes, Mother, it does. Thank you for this opportunity. Who will be the winning artist? And who will fail? Let's find yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, you kind of did look at uh, both girls differently and you said winning for one and losing for the other. So we already have an idea of who you're going to pick. Let them go, please. And get the other cat. Oh, me and Cadbear says I've got me a lot. All right, man, we get it. You love Camilla. Settle down. Christ. Why are you wearing yoga pants? Well, on Tuesday nights, I do restorative yoga with a bunch of moms from Patty's school. And what do you do after yoga? We split avocado egg rolls at the Cheesecake Factory. But we also drink. What do you drink? Chardonnay. Oh, babe. You're basic. In one of the reboots, you and, and Chidi fell in love deeply and you told him that you loved him and and he told you that he loved you back we did what now do you want to listen to a podcast I mean... <laughs> can i suggest the weekly planet it's actually really fun um <laughs> or a future podcast that i will no doubt make yeah okay so well i mean she knew that but then forgot it again so yeah uh, obviously Endgame's gonna be Eleanor and Chidi, right? It has to be, because it's love and it's great and I'm sappy as shit. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed this episode. I'm so glad to be back making the Good Place videos, because they do make me feel a lot better in myself, even though I get a little bit emotional when it brings up the family shit. But never mind, I'll move past that and cry off camera. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited to continue on with this. I don't understand where it's going to go. There's obviously going to be a cliffhanger on season three ending. But I mean, are they just going to die again? And then go back to the good place? Or the what, what have you? Anyway, we'll find out. Um, 
I really like those two. Um, I, I don't think they were French. Those two people who just loved to horny no matter what. Uh, they were good. And, of course, Jason's just always a delight. And I cannot wait to get into the next episode. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again really soon for more The Good Place reaction videos.